On February 15, 1961, the U.S. figure skating team was headed to the World Championships in Prague. They left Idlewild Airport in New York City on Sabina Flight SN-548 the previous day and were due to arrive at Brussels Zaventem Airport. The plane was filled with not just star figure skaters, but their families, coaches, and judges. Some of the team had recently competed in the 1960 Olympics in Squaw Valley and were looking forward to the World Championships. Many of the medalists in that Olympics have retired from the sport, leaving this up-and-coming crop of future stars that included the 16-year-old Laurence Owen, who just a few days earlier had appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated as America's most exciting girl skater. But there would be no world championships that year, and the plane carrying these skaters would never land. Instead, the craft nosedived into a field less than two miles away from Brussels, killing all 72 people on board and an additional person on the ground. To this day, the cause of the plane crash has never been determined. But if you have been watching the 707 plane from the ground at the Brussels Zaventem Airport, you might have sensed that something was wrong. According to This Day in Aviation, three miles short of the runway, the plane suddenly retracted its landing gear and began rising up, accelerating. The plane then made three full circles, and each time the angle of bank increased, so by the last turn, the plane was nearly on its side. The plane then leveled off, pitched up abruptly, and dove to the ground. Though the cause of the crash is officially unknown, given the behavior of the pilot, it's assumed that it was due to mechanical error in the flying controls. The Federal Aviation Administration concluded it was likely the result of an issue with the stabilizer adjusting mechanism. The crash's impact on figure skating was devastating. At the time, the United States dominated figure skating internationally. In the 1960 Olympics, Americans won gold medals for both the men's and women's individual competitions, plus a bronze medal for individual women and a bronze for pairs mixed. But the crash meant that America's best skaters had been killed. An official in the American Skating Union told UPI at the time that it would take at least three years for the U.S. to develop skaters to fill their footsteps. In the 1964 games, Americans didn't take home a single gold or silver medal in the sport, though they managed two bronzes. The sport focused on rebuilding. Barbara Rolls, who retired after her bronze medal finish in the 1960 Olympics, returned to the sport. And 12-year-old Peggy Fleming, whose coach, Bill Kipp, died in the crash, worked on developing her skills for the future. Fleming told Today on the 60th anniversary of the plane crash, they had so much going for them, and they were gone, and the coaches were gone, so it motivated us to fill the gap of what we lost. Eight years later, the hard work paid off when a 19-year-old Fleming took home gold in the 1968 Olympic Games. She said of her victory that year, it was like we've arrived back. I think that gave hope to a lot of skaters that we can build again. But it meant so much to American figure skating, quite frankly, at that time. Part of that rebuilding came in the form of the Sabina Flight 548 Memorial Fund, which continues to have an impact on the sport today. Fleming's training was partially paid through the Fund Scholarship Program, which sponsors athletes who can't afford pricey figure skating lessons. The Fund has since supported athletes like Christy Yamaguchi, Scott Hamilton, and Merrill Davis and Charlie White, according to U.S. Figure Skating. Today, the Fund supports athletes at every level in skating, from promising young figure skaters to future Olympic stars. The Memorial Fund has raised more than $20 million since it was first founded. Fleming told Today, we keep supporting the Memorial Fund because we don't want it to just be people that are wealthy doing this. Everyone should be allowed to participate in their sport.